Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll solve exercise 52a. Number one. Number one says solve the equations 8x minus 10 equal to 36 plus 5. So 8x minus 10 equal to 36 plus 5. So now we have to write the similar thing in one side and the similar thing on another side. Look at this one. This one is x is called the variable. So we'll write two variables in the same side. And 10 and 5 both are constant. We'll write them on another side. So we have to write 8x. So if we want to move this trisex on this side, the sign will be changed. So plus trisex will be minus trisex. And here, 5. So if we want to move this minus 10 on another side, that will be plus 10. Now, 8x minus 36, that will be 5x, equal to 5 plus 10, that is 15. Now, we have to divide both sides by 5. So, if we divide both sides by 5, then what will we get? We can divide this 5 by 5, and 15 by 5, that will be 3. So, our final answer will be x equal to 3. So, if we want to solve this equation, then final answer will be 3. The answer is x equal to 3. Now, number 2. Number 2 says, solve the equation 7y minus 6 equal to 3y plus 18. So, 7y minus 6 equal to 3y plus 18. So, at first, we have to move this 3y on another side. So, it will be 7y minus 3y equal to 18, we have to move this minus 6 on another side, that will be plus 6. Now, 7y minus 3y, that means 4y equal to 18 plus 6, that will be 24. Now, we have to divide this equation by 4. So, what will we get? If we divide 4y by 4 and 24 by 4, we get the final result. So, 4 divided by 4 and 24 by 4, that will be 6. So, answer will be y equal to 6. And this is the required solution. Now, number 3. Number 3 says 9j minus 3 equal to 2j plus 18. So, 9j minus 2j equal to 18 plus 3. So, 9j minus 2j, that will be 7j equal to 18 plus 3, that is 21. Now, we have to divide this equation by 7, then we get our final result. So, 21 divided by 7, that will be 3. 7 divided by 7, that is 1. So, answer will be j equal to 3. And this is our final solution. Now, number 4. Number 4 says, p plus 2p plus 3p equal to 18. So, p plus 2p plus 3p. 3p plus 2p, 5p plus p, that will be 6p equal to 18. Now, we have to divide this equation by 6. That means 6p divided by 6 equal to 18 divided by 6. So, 6 divided by 6, that is 1. 18 divided by 6, that will be 3. So final answer will be p equal to 3. And this is the required solution. Now solve the equation 6 minus q equal to 5 q minus 12. So 6 minus q equal to 5 q minus 12. If we want to move the constant on this part, that means 6 plus 12 equal to, we have to move this variable on another part, that means 5 q plus q. So we can say 6 plus 12, that is 18. And 5q plus q, that will be 6q. Now, we have to divide this equation, that is both part by 6. So, 18 by 6 equal to 6q divided by 6. Then we will get our final answer, that will be q equal to 3. Because we can divide this 6 and 6. 18 by 6, that will be 3. So, answer is q equal to 3. Number 6. Number 6 is 7 minus 2a equal to 2 plus 3a. Now, 7 minus 2 equal to, we have to move this minus 2a on another side, that will be plus 2a. 
So 7 minus 2, that is 5. 3a plus 2a, that is 5a. That means now we have to divide these both part by 5. Then we will get our final answer. 5 divided by 5, that is 1. 5 divided by 5, that is 1. So we can say a equal to 1. And that is our final answer. Now, number 7. Number 7 says b plus 8b equal to 14 plus 2b. Now, b plus 8b, that means 9b. We have to move this 2b on another side. That will be minus 2b equal to 14. So, 9b minus 2b, that will be 7b. So, 7b equal to 14. Uh, therefore, we can say b equal to 2. That means if we divide this equation by 7, we get 7 divided by 7, that is 1, and 14 divided by 7, that is 2. So, final answer should be b equal to 2. Now, number 8. Number 8 says x plus a even x equal to 20 plus 2x. So, x plus 11x, that is 12x. So, we have to move these 2x on another side, that is minus 2x equal to 20. So, 12 minus 2x, that is 10x equal to 20. Now, we have to divide this equation by 10, then we will get our final answer. So, 10 divided by 10, that is 1, 20 divided by 10, that is 2. So, our final answer is x equal to 2. Number 9. Number 9 says x minus 6 equal to 7x minus 48. Now, we can write in this way. Suppose x minus 7x equal to minus 48 minus 6 will be plus 6. If we move this minus 6 on another side. So, x minus 7x will be minus 6x and minus 48 plus 6 will be minus 42. Now, we have to divide both part by minus 6. So, if we divide both part by minus 6, then we can cut this one and this one. Minus minus will be 42 divided by 6. That will be 7. So, here our final answer should be x equal to 7. Now, number 10. Number 10 says x divided by 2 plus x divided by 3 equal to 5. Now we can write it, the LCM of 2 and 3 will be 6. So we can say the LCM is 6, 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So 3 multiplied by x, that is 3, 6 plus 6 divided by 3, that is 2, 2 multiplied by x, that is 2x equal to 5. Now 2x plus 3, 6, that will be 5x equal to 5 multiplied by 6. Now, we have to divide the both part by 5. Then we will get our final answer. So, 5 divided by 5, that is 1. 5 divided by 5. So, here our final answer will be x equal to 6. Now, number 11. Number 11 says x minus x by 2 equal to 4. So, we have to find out the value of x. So, here we can write the LCM will be 2. We have to multiply this 2 by x, that will be twice x minus x equal to 4. Now, 2x minus x, that is x, and 4 multiplied by 2, that is 8. And that is the solution of this equation. Now, number 12. Number 12 says x divided by 3 plus 1 equal to x divided by 2. So now, we have to move this variable on another side that will be, you know, x by 2 minus x by 3. So we can write in this way. 1 equal to LCM of 2 and 3, that will be 6. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. 3 multiplied by x, that is 3, 6 minus 6 divided by 3, that is 2. 2 multiplied by x, that is 3, 6. Or 1 equal to Trice x minus trice x, that is x divided by 6. So, therefore, we can write x equal to 1 multiplied by 6, that is 6. So, our final answer is 6. We can actually prove that our answer is right or wrong. Suppose, instead of x, if you put a 6, then you will get 6 by 3, that is 2, 2 plus 1, that is 3. 
this will be on left hand side and if you divide this 6 by 2 you will get 3 here so you can say our answer is correct now number 13 number 13 says x by 4 plus 3 equal to x by 2 plus 1 so x by 4 plus 3 equal to x by 2 plus 1 so we can write it in this way suppose x by 4 minus x by 2 equal to 1 minus 3 now look at this we have to find out the lcm of 4 and 2 that will be 4 4 divided by 4 there is 1 1 multiplied by x that is x minus 4 divided by 2 that is 2 2 multiplied by x that is twice x equal to 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 now x minus 2x that is minus 6 by 4 equal to minus 2 minus x equal to 4 into minus 2 that is minus 8 so if we divide minus 1 in both sides then we get x equal to 8 that is our required solution now number 14 number 14 says y by 5 plus 1 equal to y by 2 minus 2 so we have to move this y by 2 on this side and 1 on another side. So y by 5 minus y by 2 equal to minus 2 minus 1. So the LCM of 5 and 2 will be 10. So we can divide this 10 by 5 that is 2. 2 multiplied by y that is 2y minus 10 divided by 2 that is 5. 5 multiplied by y that is 5y equal to minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 3. Now 2y minus 5y that is minus 3y divided by 10 equal to minus 3. Now minus 3y equal to minus 3 into 10. So we can now divide both part by minus 3. So if we divide both part by minus 3 then we can get our final answer and that will be 10. So y equal to 10 will be the required solution. Number 15. Number 15 says z divided by 6 plus 3 equal to z divided by 3 plus 1. Now look at this. z divided by 6 minus z divided by 3 equal to 1 minus 3. So the LCM of 6 and 3 should be 6. So 6 divided by 6 that is 1. 1 multiplied by z that is z minus 6 divided by 3 that is 2, 2 multiplied by z that is 2z equal to 1 minus 3 that will be minus 2. So now z minus 2z that is minus z by 6 equal to minus 2. So minus z equal to minus 2 into 6, minus 2 into 6. If we divide this equation by minus 1, then we get our final answer. That will be 6 multiplied by 2, that is 12. So, j equal to 12 should be our final answer. And you can check the answer here. Look, instead of j, if you put 12 here, 12 divided by 6, that will be 2. 2 plus 3, that will be 5. Again, j equal to 12. So, instead of j, we can put 12. 12 divided by 3, that is 4. 4 plus 1, that is 5. Simple, very simple one. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon on next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Fiyamani.